Hello ladies and gents, in this video we will encapsulate our application inside a so-called component. By doing so we will achieve two things. First, our app will become reusable since components are independent. This means we can use our application, let's say, inside another application for example. And secondly, our app will become more flexible because instead of using a static HTML page as the entry point, we can also use other surrounding containers like the SAP Fiori Launchpad. So before we begin, let me do something I forgot in the previous videos. Let's create a folder named web app and let's move everything that we have created so far inside this folder. No need to update any imports or anything. And inside our web app folder, let's create a new component.js file. And the name has to be component.js, so it's not up to us. Inside this file, we extend the base class UI component and configure our application. So again, we begin by SAP UI define. And then inside our dependency array, inside this file, we will extend the base class UI component and configure our application. So again, we begin by creating a module with SAP UI define. And inside our dependency array, we will import SAP UI core UI component. This O should be lowercase. Then our callback function. And we will use the same name as the base class and again we enable the just strict mode now we create and immediately return our new UI component since we are going to extend the base class we say UI component dot extend and here the first property will be the ID of our component and again we begin by our namespace UI5 product list dot component with a capital C and second parameter is the object and for our application we are going to use an attribute named metadata which is also an object and first let's implement an interface here which is actually an array but we are going to use only one and the one we are going to use is named SAP UI core i for interface async content creation so what this interface will do is basically it will enable the async mode for our component creation and also all subcomponents so when we add routing for example in the next videos all the view creations and the creation of the routes will become asynchronous. And next we have the root view property. This will be the first view to be rendered for our application. And we begin with view name again. It's UI5 product list dot view our view folder and then app is the name of our view next we need to specify the type of our view which is xml and lastly we need to give an id to our application which i will just call app with a capital a so here we are all done next what we need to do is to adjust the index.js file now remember we created and placed our view inside this html content instead we are going to create a new component container which will contain the component we just barely created so let's get rid of the content and instead of importing this xml view class we will import something named sap ui core component container again lowercase both times well 
we copy it into our callback function and here we simply create a new component container and we pass in an object first we give it a name ui5.product.lists so just the namespace and next we have a settings object and here we need to specify an id i will just copy and paste our namespace they can be the same and again to make this uh, container async we set async to true and now that we have our component container we again use the place at function we will also get rid of this later and place this into the content area now if we check our application we have an error let's check so it says dependencies of component.js failed let's see which dependency has failed sap ui core oic and ice parenthesis here so let's fix that save again go back and we have our application here and it works as expected now we have a few errors in the console which we will talk about later about the preload.js files it's about the building phase of our application and in the next video we will talk about the internationalization of our application so i will see you there